Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is where I am going to be solving clue boxes, puzzle boxes. Um, this here is the Camelot clue box from ID Venture. They do loads of other cool clue boxes as well. Let's get going. So this is the Trial of Camelot. Camelot, the Kingdom of Logris. Early 6th century, the aging King Arthur asks Mage Merlin to find a worthy knight who can take part in the quest for the Holy Grail. Merlin decides that it will be the one who manages to pull out the King's sword. Many knights gifted with strength and valour came to try. But none of them succeeded, until Galahad, son of Lancelot, came along. A short time later, King Arthur proclaimed him the greatest knight ever. Many deeds of Galahad are described in medieval literature, but one remained a secret. That trial of Camelot. Until quite recently, in West Yorkshire, a tomb of Galahad was excavated in his hands there was the trial, which accompanied the knight until the end of his days. Now we suggest that you pass the trial of Camelot and equal yourself with the greatest of the knights of the round table. Uh, down here we've got some hints, but hopefully we won't need them, so let's go. Uh, so we'll just exam, examine all the faces of the cube like here it looks like we've got a broken wall there's a few symbols and this piece here looks like it could come out with another symbol hidden in there looks like a pentagon uh, on this side we have a door with two torches and these two arrows are pointing outwards on this side we have what looks like two two kings crowns and two queens crowns and on this side we have a what looks like to be a locking locking mechanism inside of somewhere we've we've got four holes here i don't know if you can see inside there but I don't know if anything would drop through or... Uh, on the bottom we have what looks like a map or road. And on the top, I'm guessing it's the top because here it says start. So are we, it's like some sort of maze that I've got to try and work through. So obviously we're going to start here. Um, Looks like the, all these little pieces here move. We have arrows pointing towards the center of the circle. I don't know. Nope. If we move that one. Okay, so we've moved that one out. And now we can push these three in, just like that. I'm guessing we should be able to open this. Ah, here we go. So, we're off to a good start. So in here, we have two castles with a path joining them, which I would guess this side next. Okay, so that's center part. Oh, I've just noticed as well. I don't know if you can see that, but this piece here needs to come out too. So we'll just line these up now. Mm, I don't know if they've all got a have they all got to have a path? 
Hmm. So we've got flags at the top. One's a triangle and one is a, I want to say trapezium. I don't know. I don't know, but one's, one's a trapezium and one is a triangle. But I'm just going to say that. <laughs> Do we have, okay, yeah, so we've got multiple triangle flags. We've got one here with that other flag, another one down here. Another one here and another one here. So we've got one, two, three. And this one here doesn't have a flag. Uh, I don't know. A? Oh, okay, so that one. And then I'm guessing. Yeah, this one can rotate all the way around now. Okay. There we go. So that, with that, it has revealed a lock in between these two flames. So we've got to try and figure out, do these pull out? No, does that pull out? What about that? Mm -hmm. Try to push them. Push them both up and pull on that. Torches, stars, pull out. What about if we push? Oh, hang on, what? So I can now move this one so that this notch here is uncovering the padlock. Oh. <laughs> right, so in here we have an all-seeing eye for the lock. We have people pulling rope, almost like tug of war style. And we have two arrows pointing outwards, kind of like in here. And I think, does that want to come out? Is it something to do with these? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but these little pieces here move. Let me see if I can get some light. Yeah, you can see that there. <coughs> oh, I hold it up. Oh. Yeah. Let's see these. There you go. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like this square here is just big enough for that. So if we put these both in here, okay, so there are a couple of grooves in here I can't show you, but I think I have to line them up with the sides, one of the sides and the squares that I've got here. So if you look here, you've got on the top one, you've got a guy pulling rope and you've got a guy pulling rope. On the second one, you've only got the one pulling rope on the left-hand side. 
and on the bottom one you've got a guide pull and rope on the right hand side which would indicate to me that the top one with two people pulling either side it should go on the middle notch on the middle one you've got the guide pull and rope to the left which indicates to me that this should go all the way to the left and on the bottom guy pulling rope to the right which indicates to me that I should go all the way to the right let me try and take this one out okay so let me tell you what's going on here so we've got a piece here with a star and three circles I don't know if you can see that a star and three circles right now here on one of the hinges you've got a star and three circles. So what does that tell us? That one goes there. And this one will go there. And try that. Right, you ready? Cool. Right, so now we push both of these up. Took me long enough. A reason for that. do with this shortly. Eye on the lock. Look in the lock. Ah, I think I've got to look in here to get these letters, to get the letters that match on these four things here. So if I put that in the middle, that one to the right, and that one to the left. and then look through the lock. Yeah, we got it, baby. So the middle two are M and a lightning bolt. M and a lightning bolt. So that one is up there onto this one. So we've got lightning bolt. Ah, here we go. <laughs> this puzzle is so cool. Oh, unless... Does this come out now? No. What? Yeah, it does. Look at that. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Right. So we have these little symbols up here. We have six separate symbols. And each one of these pins is set to one of these crowns, I'm guessing. But now I need to figure out what this does. It's got two holes and I'm guessing it's for here. And I'm guessing this fits in somewhere. So what shall we do? Is there a spike? to go in here okay so you're not going to see that or you might be able to but that looks like it's the clover and the worm the 
the clover and the worm. Now what does that mean? No, don't get stuck. Clover and the worm. We've got the worm. No. Where's the clover? So we've got the worm, the worm, at least. Ah, uh, yeah, so each of these pins has notches in them. You've got three notches, three lines. And these lines correspond with each of these symbols. And this here, like, you've got the worm there, but there isn't a club. I can't find the club symbol, so I'm guessing that these two pins have to go on the bottom. I feel like that would fit in there. Yeah, so yeah, that fits in as well. Ah, oh, club is the ram. See how you've got the club. You've got the club on top of his hat. Crown, sorry. A diamond on top of that one. You've got the cross on top of that one. And a pentagon on top of that one. So that one's up. The club was the worm. Diamond is that one there. Find the cross. Which should nope. The pentagon is the bow. Are we on that one? The pentagon is on the bow. Diamond is on that one. That we should be on the bow. He's up top. He's in the middle. He's at the bottom. He's in the middle as well. But what does that mean? Does it come apart? Ah, here we go. That must mean <laughs> that's so cool. So now we've got this little puzzle box here. Okay, so where I last left off, I had completed this, this puzzle box and we've checked inside and we pulled out this other little puzzle box but um I've been not ill per se but I have had a cough bam I've had some time to look over this puzzle and I've also solved it off of the off of the camera here you've got two music notes you've got one with a tail and one without a tail I don't know what they're called, so do forgive me, and on one side you have an upside down trumpet with one music note on, and on the other side you have another trumpet with three holes with the other music note on. So that's that side, that side, and that side, now on the back you have two holes and two squared holes. Now I'm not entirely sure what any of this does or means, but we've got a hole 
in this side, two square holes, two. I'm not sure what these three circle holes do, and I'm not sure what this one here does either. So, um, as you can see, the arrows here move. Oh, just indicates that you can move it up and down. And then we've got this musical note here with the tail end. Just goes to show that that is the unlock music note. And down here you have the music note without the tail, and that shows lock. The way to open this is that you want these paths to line up. As you can see here, you've got one line here and one line here. So you want to shut it, make sure it's closed all the way down. And then the unlock. Yeah, you follow the path around. Obviously, it shows that you've got the music note with the tail end on it. So you hold that one down. And what we're going to do is we're going to find the music note trumpet, the one that has the tail on it. And because it's a trumpet, what do you do? You play it. So you blow into this hole here, which I will do now. And push this up. And there we have it. And then inside that, we have, uh, depending on which way you look at it, you've got three symbols here. And you've got these, I don't want to show you them really, well, I can. I'll show you this one here. As you can see, if the camera will focus in on the top of this sword here. Now, as you can see from this thing here, there's an arrow here, and what you do is you place all three swords on top of each other, and they will reveal something, but for the purpose of this, I'm not going to show you because it takes you to a website where essentially it says you've completed the puzzle and you are a knight of the round table. Thank you for joining me with this puzzle. I know it's my first video and I know the quality is not too good. But um, as I solve more and maybe buy slightly upgraded equipment, then hopefully the, the quality in itself will become a lot better. But all being said, I really do hope that you've enjoyed solving, well I say solving, I really do hope that you have enjoyed watching me solve this puzzle and um, it would mean a lot to me if you could like the video and maybe subscribe. So um, yeah, if you could do that, that would be great and I will see you on the flip side.